Forever Love. And I hope you've got a good book for this one. with Gary Barlow. Very pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Of course, we're going to talk about your new album, Open Road. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me, are you walking on an open road right now? Um, not right now, but I was about 12 months ago when I started the album. The whole meaning of Open Road is that basically I, when the band split up and I was going to start out on my own, um, I had a choice of so many great choices. Um, that's why it was such a positive move to to split the band up really because we all had completely you know a whole ch choice of things to do and that was the open road for me having the choice to do anything. It's very strange because we expected the album like a year ago in June and then you meet certain people and they say well we can do it better with different people can you do it all over again? Well the album was due out in, in November last year just to correct you. Mm -hmm. um, I'd recorded seven songs and I went to America to, to record two extra songs just to finish the album off really. And um, it was so brilliant what I come back with that I thought it's just, th this from America is just far better than the stuff we've mm -hmm. done in England. So I had to take all the stuff back. I wasn't satisfied. I think it's so important when you're an artist, if you've finished an album, in order to go and promote it well, you've got to feel that you've done everything you mm -hmm. possibly can to make to make it a brilliant album. Otherwise, it's it's you know you're not sincere when you're trying. Then you can become very blinkered in the way that you think, well, I've got to write all this album myself. I'm a singer as well as a songwriter, so I, that means that I'm an artist who makes albums, and um, I actually really enjoy recording other people's songs, whether it's cover versions or original tracks. I don't mind it at all. Because to me, if, if there's something I hear that inspires me to want to sing it, mm -hmm. well, that's another art form. That's another... My interpretation of a record is just as important to me as a record I write. And also, from, from my perspective, is I write a lot of slow songs and we needed some up-tempo numbers. Yeah. That's when I always go looking. I think if you see in the past, we've recorded like Could It Be Magic, Relight My Fight. It's always the up-tempo tracks I struggle with. So that's when I was off trying to find other stuff. But you're learning, you're still learning. I'm always learning. Everyone's always learning. Uh, Shep Pettibone also worked with, with Madonna, with Erotica. Yeah, Madonna um, and Shep Pettibone wrote that track. Together. Of Wait. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Oh, so they did it together. Yeah. You really worked with Madonna. Yeah. How was it like? No, I didn't work with her. Not at all? They no, wrote it together, no, no, you didn't saw her at all? No, they wrote it and we got the song given to us. That's yeah. easy. That's the easy way. The easy way? Yeah. You should have been there while we were recording <laughs> it. <laughs> the next single that comes out in, in Holland, I believe, is So Help Me Girl. Uh -huh. That's also a cover. Yes. From an older country a songwriter. That's right, yeah. Um, do you like it to, to um, give them another chance on your album? Or is it only because you... Um, 
how do you say that? Like them so much. Uh, what, do you mean the songs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Um, you know, obviously when, when you've finished writing an album, you look and you try and find the best songs to, to release. And when you hear a song like So Help Me Girl, that is just like, that is my favourite on the album, that mm -hmm. track. And not only the song, but the way I've sang it, and you know, it's all it's all those things that make a hit record. It's the sound of it, and who's produced it, and it's all of those things. And and that that's why I give always give other songs a chance, because um, that's a classic. So help me, girl, it's a classic song, and it needs. If it wasn't me, it'd have been someone else who'd mm -hmm. have recorded it. So. This is the music factory. 